Hello everybody, in today's session we're going to look at the repeat effect. So I've already got it selected so you can see it on the projector screen down at the bottom there. So the repeat effect is exactly what it is, it repeats the effect. So for example, let me just turn that off for a moment there. Okay, so if I just turn my border on over here and I just, there we go, turn that back on, you'll notice that I've got my, if I increase my repeater, it will start repeating lots of times, which actually creates a really nice effect. So the higher I increase the number, the more repeats there are. So I'm just gonna turn that back to an amount that we can see. And again, I can change the effect and I can drop down the depth of the fixed position right there. Again, if I click that, I can add it to tempo. So you can see already it's added an interesting pulsing effect right there. If I had a base, um, selected it would respond to that and so on and so forth just put that back to fix so we can see that shape there actually let's put it back on tempo because that's a really nice effect so if I click the line effect there I can also add more effects into this so you'll notice on the projection in the bottom right corner that it's added a color depth to it and I can just change my fixed line and change my color to the tempo as well so they both are responding in real time so they're all selected on and it's our top effect in the right hand side there so let me just change the color down a little bit just to create the effect and a lot of what you're going to be doing with uh, projection mapping and with heavy m is just trying things out making sure you get used to the software and the effect is as, as you want it really and there's no right or wrong way to do this it's very much about your personal preference Okay, so I'm just going to put this on full screen and let you have a look at the effect that we've just created.